Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen here with Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering my top five most disappointing teams of this year. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates, all the breakdowns. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, this season taught us a lot. It showed us a lot. And you saw exactly how, uh, essentially, the NFL panned out to the start of the uh, wild card. Now we're in the divisional round. But I'm going to name you top five teams that were most disappointing this season whether it be by how they played, expectations, a number of things. Starting at number five. This team had a season that didn't make the playoffs, but you got to think, there was so much left on the football field for this team. When you look at the offensive sets, when you look at the offensive uh, high watermarks that they made, this record broken, that record broken, putting together essentially great games, the Miami Dolphins. When you think of the Miami Dolphins, you think of exactly where they ended their season one and done in the playoffs after having a phenomenal offensive season, giving away the lead to the Bills, which now why the Bills have a home playoff game against Kansas City. Um, they just didn't win big games against teams that were good. They had one quality win against a playoff team, and you think, um, during a regular season that is, and you think they weren't able to do anything to Baltimore to slow them down. They weren't able to do anything against a lot of teams that are essentially in the playoffs now. So um, beating up on cupcake teams in the NFL, teams that are not that good, that's not impressive. But you got to think, come back next year, I want to see more from this Miami Dolphins team because they're that great. Coming in number four, the New York Football Jets. Yes, they did lose Aaron Rodgers, but they still had a quarterback on the roster. When you look at, you know, Wilson, and what he's been able to do for the Jets. There's times when he shows flashes, he shows pops of being a promising young quarterback. There's times when he makes big throws. You're like, damn, that's the quarterback of the Jets. But then there's also times where he disappears. There's times when he throws interceptions or sees ghosts and just starts throwing the ball into any kind of coverage. This is bad because essentially the Jets had a defense that was ready to go, firing on all cylinders, ready to make a Super Bowl run. And the first series out, Aaron Rodgers goes down. Now, mind you, they did have some games where they played better than others, but you got to think, it's inconsistent quarterback play for this guy. That's why this team made this list at number four. They're going to have to do something, whether it be uh, replacing him, getting him off the team, releasing him. I don't think he should be back on the team. And Aaron Rodgers has to develop a backup because at this point, you don't want Aaron Rodgers to go down again and then have to deal with that same thing. Coming in at number three. They were in the Super Bowl last year. They struggled. They lost the last six games. They lost the playoff game. And you think this locker room is possibly broken. There's a lot of back and forth banter. There's a lot of confusion. The Philadelphia Eagles, not only did you have the driver's seat and the number one seed for the NFC locked up, but you gave it away to the 49ers and you also slid. Slid down, slid down, slid down. There's so much more that this team was desired for. There's so many more awards. There's so many different things that you could have saw if they could have just simply tied it together and beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It's tough. But, you know, there may be a coaching change or coaching changes on the way. There may be some also player changes as well. You can't ever outthink Philly because, you know, Howie and company, they are smart. They're going to take chances. They're going to make trades and get people for 50 cents on the dollar. Coming in at number two, it's very disappointing, but this team literally crept their way out the playoffs. For some odd reason... All they had to do was win year in. All they had to do was really go at it and really give their all, and they didn't do that. They, Coach Peterson may deserve to be fired again. You look at this team, it's lackadaisical. There's times when Trevor Lawrence wasn't in the game, and you saw this team be basically exposed. People exposed them on offense, exposed them on defense, and they have too much talent for this on this roster. you got to keep in mind, when it's all said and done, you want to see the Jacksonville Jaguars be a team that potentially could be challenging for that number one seed every single uh, week. When you're thinking about, okay, can this team be the best team in the NFL in power rankings? Yes, they can. Just lazy. Um, and lastly, um, they have to call better plays. When they get their offense stale, it's stagnant, and they run the same plays, and, and they turn the ball over. They don't score. They don't use uh, Travis Eaton enough or Calvin really enough. They have to start bouncing that offense a little better on both sides. So that's why they're there. And coming in at number one, the Atlanta Falcons. Having B. John Robinson and not using them is crazy. Having Kyle Pitts and not using him is crazy. Having London and not really using him is crazy. But it's tough because these people literally put the coaching staff together and said, hey, go play ball. 
there's times where you're on the goal line and B. John Robinson is on the sideline with no helmet. He's just sitting there standing looking around. You know, there's times where everybody has to do their part, but nobody's really doing their part. And that's part of what the Atlanta Falcons had to go through. They had to sit through another mediocre season, another me mediocre invite uh, to do things, but it's not the same thing as being in the playoffs. So uh, these are my top five, you know, disappointing teams of, of this year. Leave your comments in the comment section below. If you've got five that you want to see on the list as well, feel free to let me know. And uh, check out Sports Choice Plus on a new YouTube platform.